It's Melissa with Melissa Peterson Designs and I've got Daniela with me. We're going to work on my sign for a little bit before we start painting on her bathroom. Um, I sent out an email to the MBD tribe this weekend and asking about what I should do with this regarding uh, using molds or transfers or a stencil I've got picked out. I decided to do all three because the voting kind of came back with uh, all three. So we're going to try and see if we can make part of it work today. Um, I have two stencils picked out. I used this one on Daniela's um, jewelry box last month and I, used, I got this one. I wanted to check out. I got this from Anna at Furniture Boutique. So I'm going to see about using this one around the corners and see if I can piece part of it on there. Because I've painted the sign black since we met that last week after I, um, what I do? I uh, made a mold and I fixed a couple gouges on there. And then I decided to paint it black because my kitchen's white. I'll probably end up putting this over, like the count, I like putting it over on the um, cupboards. Oh great, now I can't hardly see these. So these stencils come in pieces and you can cut these and mix and match. So I think, let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna borrow your scissors, babe. Oh, there we go. So I think I'm gonna get this part on first before we figure out which molds we wanna use. And I'm gonna make Daniela do the molds. Do you have powder of any kind? Baking powder, baking soda, baby powder. <laughs> I didn't bring that. I had to pack up all my stuff and bring it here. So I knew I'd forget something. So basically I cut part of the stencil that I wanna use, which is hard to see. Powdered sugar? Huh? Oh, baby powder. Did you say sugar? I have powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. Where's that? There you Either go. Powdered sugar, flapjack mix. I, I, I yeah. Powder. Oh, so. Is this the container? Did it have a thing in there? No. It didn't. Have what thing in there? Uh, squeegee thingy. Oh, no. Okay, normally these do. But thankfully, oh, here we go. Normally these come with um, like a thing to squeeze on. Squeeze, push, transfer. I can't think. Okay. So originally when I bought this sign, it was, I'm gonna have to redo this because the hanger's like this and it's supposed to hung up like this. I want to do it this direction. Put you down here. Hi, Kathy. How you doing, girl? There's Daniela. Poor girl. I'm making her do this with me. So we're going to take the backing off. It's kind of like working with the stencil. And with these things, you can um, seal over them. You can wax over them. You can paint over them. Basically, I'm just going to rub it until it transfers onto my sign. Do you want to find it? See if you can find the other one, like this, the corner, and cut it for me. I think I want to do at least two. I'm not sure if I want to do all four corners, though. Play it by ear. So when we get done here, we're going to be painting on Daniela's bathroom. So her bathroom is about the size of mine, so the two of us in the painting is going to be kind of fun. And you just keep rubbing it until it transfers onto your thing. And you can kind of pull up a little bit, and if you don't have it all down there, you can just put it back down and keep rubbing. You 
found it? Yeah. Good. Now, do you want to go through the molds and see what you think would look good with this one? Since you can kind of see now what's going on. And with these transfers, these things are so nice because if you're transferring this on wood, you can sand it. This is not real wood, so I'm not going to be sanding over the transfer to kind of blend it in. But when I get this all figured out, I'm going to put a coat of sealer on this to protect it. And it's going over the edge a little bit. So I'm just kind of using my fingers to kind of rub it into the crevices over there. You need help? Oh, and I've got this new one too. I gotta leave this area open for my stencil. So, okay. Think about putting the, stencil, the opposite stencil down this side. What do you guys think? Your noodling. I'm just using my fingers to kind of get the area that's going over the edges. a little bit of elbow grease. I feel like I'm yelling. I'm gonna have some coffee here after a bit. Okay. <laughs> Good. I brought some stevia. is the first transfer. Kind of a white, white chalky flower. And I've got it going over the edge a little bit on purpose. And Danielle is going to check out and see what mold we want to put on here. Depending on what she picks out, we might glue it on today and I'll use the wood glue if we do. Um, or I might have to put it on after it dries. Because um, it depends on if I have to paint it before it gets put on or paint it after it's put on where it goes. And we'll go ahead and do this one. You got one picked out yet? No, I'm trying to figure out what, whether try the opposite, the two stencils. Mm -hmm. What do you think? No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. This is hard on my knees. my car packing all the stuff over here because I brought stuff to paint the bathroom. I brought the stuff for this live so there would have been no room for a second person because my car was packed. I even had to bring a fan because we're going to have to, in the bathroom, we're going to have to put a coat of primer on the ceiling first before we paint. So we'll need a little help with it drying. Once 
once again, I'll just use my fingers. Get it around the edges. And Danielle, even the molds can kind of overlap this a little bit too if you want, okay? But then I'll have to paint them first before we apply them. That's Carol Crawl's watching. Hi, Carol. How you doing? I got my contacts in correctly this time. Last week I was wearing my contacts during a live and it turned out like one of my contacts and my eye was uh, not in there correctly and I couldn't see very well. you think you'd notice that right away. That's not the first time I did that. So this, the first time I did that was when we went to Chicago, and my eye was bothering my eye. My eye was bothering me, so I took my contacts out and put my glasses on. And by the time we got to Chicago, it was going down Michigan Avenue. Turned out I had a second contact in there, and it fell out driving down Michigan Avenue. It was a weird experience. Did you figure out? Go ahead and get started. You know what to do. So, Daniela has decided to do this rosette. So, she's going to go ahead and start making a. How many molds are you going to make? Two. Two molds. Okay. Where are you going to put them? Yes. So, okay. So, since we're going to kind of overlap the two molds she's going to make, I'm not going to apply them today. I'll wait until they cure first, and then I'll paint them before we put them on. You want to use this? Use a sheet to put that on, or what do you think? Am I taking up all the room? <laughs> We're using Danielle as a coffee table to craft on. There you go. So kind of save your mess there. I've almost got this transfer off. So if you just start joining, we're going to do all three. When I sent that e email out this weekend, I asked if you wanted um, like molds and an old world finish or transfers or my stencil design I made. And I decided to do all three because it sounds like the, the, the results were a little bit mixed. There was a variety of everything. So we're going to see if we can make all three work. And I'm putting on a Prima transfer that I got from Anna at the Furniture Boutique called Love and Dreams. And it's a kind of like a chalk design. And we're just kind of mixing and matching. I cut off the corners of it to apply on here. So you don't have to use the whole stencil. You can mix and match them. And since this is not on wood, it's on a, like an MDF board and plastic, I'm going to not sand it. I'll just, um, when we get done, I'll just seal it with sealer right over the transfer. I might do some wax on there, on here, I don't know. It just kind of depends on what I think might look good. So there's that, my progress so far. And I've always wanted the design in this kitchen we dance because in my kitchen, you know, there's not a whole lot of cooking going on. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and we have danced in there several times. So, um, I've always wanted that saying in there. So things have kind of changed and I've over overlapped the transfer around the edges. You can do that. I think this is pretty. And Danielle is working on her molds. And also another way to make that smooth is you can put a little finger, your finger in water and just kind of rub over it. And that'll help it too. 
so. <coughs> so I probably will paint the molds black and then I'll do my old world, world finish and just kind of work like with maybe like a gray and dry brush it and then a white and dry brush it is what I'm thinking. But I'll have to do that before we apply them and then I'll have to carefully apply them on here. I think it'll be kind of neat to have these areas a little bit bare and then have the design here with my saying. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> Anyone want to come paint bathroom today with us? She's making molds with her pretty nails. I'm getting it. stuff but it stained my hands too bad so let me see oh she's using a paper clay that we got from Amazon I think it's like $13 and it's white um, I was getting some stuff from Hobby Lobby and it was um, black I really like the content of it because it was um, a little bit more moist but if you don't wear gloves it'll stain your hands and then I had issues with my hands kind of swelling up from being stained and I couldn't get the material off my hands. You getting her? Oh, perfect. So that's the mold. have two of them. I'll put one in each corner like that. So, and then we'll have a second one and I'll work on that this week. And next week I'll go ahead and stencil this and hopefully you'll be ready to seal and go. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. We're going to let you go and then we'll get to painting too. So you guys have, whoops, you guys have a great week. Bye guys. My name is Melissa with Melissa Peterson Designs. Thank you so much for watching my video. I like to consider myself a resource for other crafters, or that's what I'm striving for. Um, I have two Etsy stores, Piper's Popcorn Designs and Midwest Market Studio, where I offer cut files, mock-ups. Um, I also have a free library for those who join my tribe, MPD Tribe, um, of cut files. Um, mock-ups and video tutorials. If you have any questions, please contact me. You can join my tribe at melissapetersondesigns.com. Thank you so much for watching.